Oh, hi there, everybody. My name is Hedda Lettuce. And I'm Dennis Hensley, and you're watching Divine HD, where we're all gay all the time. Snap, snap, snap. Oh, God, we're so funny, Dennis. Already, right out the gate. You know, we get tons and tons and tons of emails and letters sent to us on a daily basis. That's true. Why, Dennis and I hardly have any time to read them. Let know? alone go to the gym. Exactly. So we don't. We have people read them for us because we're celebrities. And we just recently, you know, got a letter. And I, I, I just want to share it with you right now, Kenny. You know, Fantastic. It's a letter much like the one I'm going to read now, much like this one. This is a very... This is a this is a difficult one to get through this letter because you know we've had a lot of funny letters. This, this I can't even barely get through this letter, Dennis. Are you going to a real place? You're getting very Oprah. You no, know, I no, I just feel this is. No, listen, just listen. Okay. Jimmy, hello, Jimmy, from Bucks County, Pennsylvania, writes, dear Hedda and Dennis. Top billing always. Okay, never mind. Sorry. There's that bitter pill coming out whatever, again. Whatever, go ahead, Jimmy. Dear whatever, Jimmy Dennis has a question. And Hedda, okay. I reversed it. Oh, sweet. Okay. Thank you. Dear people, <laughs> I am a mess. I loved him and he dumped me. Oh, man. To cheer me up, would you tell me about the first time you had your heart broken? Well, he sounds like he wants to be that's, cheered up. That's, that's not going to cheer him up. Like, that's hard. That's going to make it worse, Jimmy. No, I don't know what you're to, thinking. He wants to feel better through our misery. Yeah. So what we're going to do is show him that our heartbreak was worse than his. Oh. I'll see your heartbreak, Jimmy, and I'll raise you, All right, you me, know, a lot of loneliness I, I, I and uh, misery. How, uh, come on, tell me. Well, the, the interesting was the question the first time you got your heart broken. Mm -hmm. Well, the first time wasn't as bad as, like, some of the other times. Because don't you find that it varies? In degrees? Yeah. When I had a heart, it mattered. <laughs> but not anymore. No, don't feel a thing. Yeah. All because. Right. But because the best part is that when you get your heart broken and you're really bummed out, and then the, when it starts to not feel bad anymore, that's amazing. But sometimes it takes a long time. Did you ever want to just kill yourself after you had your heart broken? Mm, I've been pretty blue, but never like that, you know. You're never standing on the top of a building on a beautiful chiffon gown with a fake fur coat, sitting there with a cigarette and a cocktail? No, I did it with a real fur. I'm sorry. Sue me. You bitch. Well, I'm going to die anyway. What's, what's, well a, what's a little you know, pita, talking about suicide, pita pain I saw eyewitnesses. This is sad, though. I did witness a suicide once. Uh, I'm not kidding. You live in New York City long enough, you witness everything. And there she was. The next thing I know, there she wasn't. She was staying in the building. It was right across the street from Barney's. She falls out the window. And this is how you know you become a jaded New Yorker. There she is, splayed out on the ground. And I look at her, and I go, my God, she's wearing sweats. <laughs> And not even last, juicy, cute sweats. No, her last defining moment. Like for Marshalls. And then she's wearing sweats. Yeah. She should have gone out with the chiffon dress and the faux fur. And the faux fur and the cocktail and the You cigarette. know how to do suicide in style, Absolutely. lady. If my heart was broken, I was going to kill myself. I would do it the right way. Yeah. Glamorously, dressed like I am. Yeah. I have a, uh, a friend who uh, does work similar to you and never wears the same outfit more than once. And you know why? Shit stains. He told me that. What? <laughs> no, Where did that a, come from? It was a tangent, and it, I think it. I think it's poop stains in the costume. <laughs> you know those actors. How old is your You friend? know those actors that say, "I never like J Lo. I never say, wear the same thing more than once." That's why. Do you know why? Because he's got two hundred eighty million dollars. She doesn't have to wear. <laughs> but I work for Divine HD. Divine HD. Now back to the question. I, I have really... to wear this ten, fifteen times. <laughs> And, and sometimes you dye it, make it different. Take sometimes it's turned this way to make it look different. sleeve in to make it like a Yuna 70s something. And Spill something on it just to give it a different effect. Splash of color. So no, wait, just getting back to, get the, to getting the story. Back to, do you think it's better to have loved and lost than never have loved to, to have loved at all? Oh, shut up and just answer the question. Stop diverting. Wait, no, that's a that's, that's the, part of it. I never... What's no, the question? How was no, my first what heartbreak? Was your first heartbreak. What was the worst? I mean, not your first. Just give me the worst. The worst? Let's the worst cheer up this guy from Bucks County. The worst I still kind of can can touch if I think about it. Okay, I want to see this. Ouch. Okay, come I'm on. I'm unlovable. No one's ever going to want to be with me. Wow, this me. is good, people. Like this is really good. This is good. Yeah. Watch this. Watch a faggot just dissolve right before your eyes. <laughs> you lose their total Keep going. Crap. Come on, come on. No, what was no, it? Come on. No, that You're was... not going to tell me? You, you want the specifics of I the want everything. and stuff? Um, mm -hmm. This is the killer. Okay. And I'm going to get a little Oprah and real for you people right here. Okey Whether you can handle it or not, drink up. When you have that feeling like something's bigger than you, like mm. meant to be-ness, all that stuff, yeah. and you're wrong. <sighs> Boy, that's, a, that's like a pimp slap. Yeah. When the, your heels are still on the floor, but you fly over the bar. Yeah, because you think it's bigger than you, right? And then you're wrong. And then where do you go? You, you go out to a bathhouse. So you might. 
I don't know who's done or that. Or a sex but, uh, club. It wasn't anything I ever what, done. Hedda, what's the difference between a bath club? Dennis Hensley house. writes, Hedda, <laughs> what's the difference between a bath club and a sex house? One has soap. <laughs> And the other one has a lot of people pretending to drop the soap that they don't have there. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Next question, please. <laughs> but you've, you've had your heart broken. Well, yes, and I can, I can relive it like it was yesterday. Yeah. Well, because it was. No. Uh, what reminds you of that stuff? Here's what. Because he didn't pay me at the end of it. That's why my heart was broken. Yeah. This is what kills me. It was a cash, I said to him. I know. On the dresser, baby. Cheap. Oh, he left me a Metro card. With nothing left on That's it. How many rides? Like I'm trying to go through like this. <laughs> <laughs> empty. empty. I thought he was lying. I thought, I can't be empty. It can't be, yeah. I said. So when he told you to take a ride. He really meant it. <laughs> yeah. Not, on his, not in his Mercedes boy either. No. The way your glitter is right now in the light, it looks like tears. I love that you're doing the Ginger Grant lips from Gilligan. Like, Gilligan, why get us some water. <laughs> why did you leave me? See, why can't I be an expensive actress? You should be. You could wipe the floor with Meg Ryan. So, okay, so basically, we're talking about, okay. Broken hearted. Jimmy from Bucks County. You live in Pennsylvania. Well, that's, that's heartbreaking as it is. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you right now. We're talking, he just said, he didn't get into specifics. But basically, what Dennis said is that he thought he met the man of his dreams. It wasn't. So, Dennis, loser. Right. So, Dennis is broke. See, do you feel better now? Den now, now look, Dennis really thought he had it all. Yeah. What was the guy's name? I can't, I don't want to say it. No one watches the show anyway. This guy's name. <laughs> William. William. Yeah. Bill, we'll call him for it. Was that, was a, that wasn't the name Bill. he went, on, went by, but that, that's good. Claire. Claire Danes. What did you say Claire Danes? And Ish. how long ago was this? Uh, within the last couple of years. Ooh. Yeah, ouch. You still holding on to it? A little bit. Mm, Not that much. I'll tell you, this is go. what, the, I know I gotta let go. Here, this, let's do a little moment. We should have a Dr. Phil intervention moment. But here's the thing. When you, when a relationship goes south, yeah. the things that remind you of that person, like I hate all Jeeps now. I've decided Jeeps are bad. Just super Jeep cheating, uh, jerky, narcissist uh, modes of Are you behavior. in therapy right now? Well, right now. I hope you don't charge that, that much. How much do you charge? The Metro card. <laughs> you don't even put anything on it. He's just like the picture. So wait, Jimmy from Bucks County. I don't know if we've helped you today. I know we've helped him. Because he's got to let go. I, gotta let I don't know go. if he's helped you. You're sitting there in a fake fur coat on the top of your <laughs> double wide in Pennsylvania, about to thrust yourself into a, a mud patch or something. Right. Just reconsider. Because this man right here, this man, a friend, yeah. has suffered more than you have. I know. And, J Jimmy, if you're going to jump, yeah. learn a lesson from that lady. Don't wear, don't wear sweats. That's Go glamorously. Don't wear sweats. Like we are, look. Yeah. I'm dressed to. I'm dressed to. kill yourself. <laughs> There's a window right there. <laughs> Excuse me, I'll be right back. <laughs> so I hope we helped you, and if we haven't helped you, well... <laughs> That's life. That's what we all have to learn. Sometimes things don't go the way you want them to, and you just gotta suck it up, Jimmy. And there's always alcohol. Cheers. To faux furs. To... And well-dressed suicide victims. And Metro cards with money on them. Oh wait, let's do it this way. Because you know what? I like it from this side, too. <laughs> Love you, baby. Mm, hope you get your heartburn again and again and again. It's good for you. Call me. You're a sorry sack of shit, do you know that? Yes, I do. <laughs>